Hi guys and welcome back to Emilia WordPress Booking Plugin Tutorials. Today we have some old topic but since there were some changes on the Google side and how you can configure notifications we decided to record a, again a new video to show you how you can customize your notifications and configure your settings using SMTP with Gmail and lastly to configure schedule notifications using Chrome Job. Like always Alexander is here with me and he will show you right away. Okay, guys, as Bogdan mentioned, uh, Google added some uh, changes and security changes. So uh, from last year, actually, uh, if you want to use SNTP, you cannot use the password you use to log into your email with. So um, for this purpose, you need to access your Google account and under security, go down to this two step verification scroll all the way down and you will see these app passwords now i already have one so i will create a new one real quick other custom name is amelia and just generate so i double click copy this and paste it in notepad because sometimes it copies these spaces so just in case i paste the password here the username is my gmail account uh, the SNTP secure is tls port 587 and the host is sntp.gmail.com um, my advice is to use the same email address for both username and sender email because some mailing providers uh, block emails that have different username and different sender email to prevent spam so anyway this is basically it this is uh, this configures the SNTP in Amelia and I received an email that uh, an app password was created for my account, which is okay. Uh, now let's take a look at appointment approved email and I just run a test email. To see if the SMTP configuration is working. That's right, that's right. So to test this, I'm sending an email to myself. And here it is, service name appointment approved. Hi, Richard Rowe, which is a um, fake name for the employee. You have one confirmed appointment and it's added to my schedule. Okay, so uh, SMTP is working with notifications. And now it will work also for all your notifications that you configured and enabled to be sent That's to right. employee or to the customer. That's right. Uh, now let's take a look at the reminders. Now all scheduled notifications have this um, clock symbol. So appointment next day reminder for the, uh, for the employee, for the follow-up email for the customer, the reminder for the customer and so on. Um, all those emails have the same URL below, which you can use in a WordPress plugin called WP Control. So if you want to use and create the uh, cron job on your server, you can use this whole command or one of the commands available on your server. Uh, but if you want to use Control, all you need is this. So copy this and access cron events, which is under tools, cron events. Once you install the WP Control plugin, uh, I'll show you that real quick. But anyway, once you're in here in cron events, you can check the cron schedules and see if one of these um, work for you. We'll use this 15 minutes. If this doesn't work for you, if you want shorter intervals, you can create a new one, for example, five minutes and add the interval in seconds and then add a display name five minutes and it will be added by clicking here. Now, I already have this 15 minutes interval, so I will use that. And this is the plugin WP Control. Um, anyway, in here, I need to add a new cron event which will be a php cron event uh, the code is file underscore get contents open brackets open quotation copy this from amelia paste it here close quotation close bracket and semicolon the name is amelia cron it will next run will be now and it will be uh, running every 15 minutes. So now when I add the event, there it is. The Amelia Cron is set. The way to test this real quick is to access the appointment section and book an appointment with your employee for tomorrow. So let me just choose Dave Dawson as a customer. 
Connor Matthews as the employee and beard trim service set for tomorrow at noon. Once I save this, this is the email associated with the employee. And here it is. Hi, Connor Matthews, you have one beard trim appointment booked. So this is the regular notification appointment approved. I wanna see if this works. So I copy this again and I make sure this is in the past. So currently it's 4 p.m. and this is scheduled for nine. So it's past uh, this, it's past the schedule time. So when I paste and hit enter, I will see uh, scheduled email notification successfully sent. Data is null in here, but as you can see here, the email is received. Hello, Connor. This is a reminder, and this is how we configured it in Amelia. So basically, this is it, guys. Just in order to test it out the cron, you must paste that link in your browser to see if everything is working fine. That's right. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any uh, comments let us know in the comment section below also if you have some easy workaround please share it with us and while you're there don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you for watching and see you in another video take care guys bye